Could you talk about the approach to rhythm, harmony, and melody with the Embase Collective? Mm. Yeah, it's a big topic, but I, you know, um, there's many different uh, uh, interests within that umbrella of Embase. Um, but uh, a couple of things really, I'll use that phrase again, underpin. A couple of things really underpin Embase. Uh, one was a, 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 a recognition of a wide range of popular music being uh, informative for that player's development. So something you would hear Steve Coleman or Greg Osby or those folks talk about is like, yeah, I, I, I definitely know Cannonball. Adderley. I definitely know uh, Coltrane. I mean, deep study of those folks. Also deep study of James Brown. Deep study of Earth, Wind, and Fire. Depending who you are, might be the Beatles, maybe not, maybe might be Hendrix. So one thing that uh, always attracted me to M Base early on was uh, I shared that I I I grew up listening to so many different types of music, and it even though I was playing in jazz environments, it I it didn't make sense to me that I would just not address all these other different types of music that I know and I love. Um, so that's one thing that underpins M bass. Um, but a couple other things, uh, M bass is uh, uh, structurally draws a lot from how African music is constructed in terms of these parts that interlock and they're there for a reason. And there's not the normal hierarchy that you would get in the West of melody and then rhythm is supportive to that. Like melody and then harmony supports melody and rhythm supports all of that. Each of those parts can be seen a bit of as the mosaic. And that's not, uh, blues has some, share some of that as well. So M bass in my view, actually, because blues is very part oriented in that same kind of way, um, to some extent, um, those parts and how they interlock are all equally acquired. So if you're playing in Steve's band or, or Greg's band back in the day, like when I first moved to New York, uh, New York and I met the M-Bass folks and I started playing with Robin and Greg, many days of the week, there'd be a jam session at one of their house, like Greg's house. And Greg's like, it's all day, so come over. And then back then it was faxing. So if you had a fax, they might send something over that might be a, 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 what might look like a melody or just a phrase or a collection of notes. You might meditate on that. I wonder what this will be. Then you'd go over and you could play on these as claves or, or ostinatos or repetitive, repetitive patterns for hours. And people might come in and out and they would evolve and develop. And then new parts might come over that. So all these parts kind of interlock and, um, that's one of the reasons why when you, uh, I'm, I'm assuming it's still true to this day, when you play in Steve's band, you're in the band like a year plus before you're actually gigging because you've got to learn all the music by ear. He wants you to learn it by ear. We're not dealing with charts. And you uh, have to learn all the parts because it's not like, well, that's the bass part. You bass player only play that. It's like, there's this part, maybe a bass plays it, maybe somebody else. There's that part and there's that part. The bass has to know all of those parts and could play any of them. And the pianist has to know all those parts or can, and can play any of them and so on and so forth. That's different. That's different. A change the learning curve. And that would be Steve's approach. Um, and not his only approach, but that would be one of the elements there. That would be a very big part of M-Bass. And Greg Osby had some of that thinking in, in, uh, in when I was in his band as well these parts were pretty interchangeable. So sometimes you might sketch them out for us to learn them or we'd learn it by ear or if, if we didn't have time and we, we were recording, he's like, here's the part. But he, it wasn't always sure who's going to play what. Let's see how these interlock. So some parts you thought might be the melody might end up being the bass part and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm.